Mr. Speaker and members of the House, our guest here tonight and watching, I am and I represent the parent of a child who is transgendered and who, if you vote yes for this, who you will be denying life-saving care. And I'm the state representative, one of your colleagues, who will be voting no. I don't live in London. I don't live in France. I don't live in Florida or St. Louis. I live here in Iowa, the state where everyone has said they care about our children, our children's rights, and our parents' rights. Because bills like this do take away freedom from Iowans to be who they are and from their parents to make health care life-saving decisions for their children. I'd love to have my son James here with me. Unfortunately, he did choose to move away from Iowa last year after a result of several of these bills coming forward. I'm proud of both of my children. My son James is 31, I'm getting old now. And my daughter, who's 29. My son was willing to be interviewed in 2018 by the Iowa City Press Citizen. So I'm gonna share some of James' words here with you this afternoon. The article starts out, James is a, this is him describing himself, a child of God an outdoor, outdoorsman, a goofball, a family man, and a Hawkeye. I thought you'd appreciate that, Representative Jacoby. He's also a man who happens to be transgender, and in an era of bathroom bills, religious freedom task forces, and back then a presidential ban on transgenders in the military, Wilburn is choosing to make that part of his life even more visible. James said, I want to do my part, and this is a message to all the transgender community, especially youth who are watching. He said, I want to make all people who identify underneath the trans umbrella to have the ability to live freely and openly as their authentic selves without fear of being ostracized or discriminated against. He finished transitioning in terms of top surgery at the age of 21. But it was not a direct line from seeing a counselor to going to surgery, despite the implication that some people are saying and the fear, the image that some folks have. These are the lives of Iowans that voting yes for this will put at risk. I'll go back to James. That was a lot of physical weight lifted but also a lot of emotional weight lifted. It's not fully describable. The importance of a physical transition is for you, for yourself, to feel more like yourself in your own body. So for that reason, I often say that my top surgery saved my life. He went on to say, after he received previously his first testosterone shot, to this day, I remember the moment I experienced it. I stopped in my tracks. I remember a feeling of aligning with myself. I also think back to a friend of James, a classmate, because James was inspired largely in order to come forward publicly with this type of article of that high school friend who, like James, had transitioned from female to male. Wilburn and friends of, I will say, AJ, had to suffer not only his spring death and suicide, but also from some media coverage that plastered his gender identity all over the sports news. 